Hello, everyone. Happy Friday afternoon or Saturday, wherever you may be on this amazing planet on this Mr. Toad's Wild Ride with us. And um, first and foremost, let's welcome our newest members of the Love Train. I saw some new members from Washington State. Welcome. I saw Holiday. Holiday, Utah. Welcome to you. Blackshear, Georgia in the house. Sittard, Holland. More new from South Africa. Welcome. We've got quite a group growing now from South Africa. That's so cool. Uh, Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas, and also Chi-Town in the house, Chicago. Welcome to all of you. And if you're brand new today or you just found us, please let me know in the comments below where you are from uh, so that we can give you a proper love train welcome. There is also a community section called where are you from where you can go in there and Tell them where you're from so that others who are in your area can, uh, you guys can track each other down and possibly meet. So uh, let's talk about this Schumann. What? Okay. So in case you haven't noticed or you have noticed, didn't do the slideshow yet with the last, because what be, was eight days and now we have nine days and 10 days. There's no slideshow needed because where, whichever way I move the melon, you got light. There's light over here. There's light over here. There's an integration. Okay, we'll give you a little integration, but then now let's talk about this. Okay, so this morning, this started at 1045 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for me. So you East Coasters, right? This is going to be mid-afternoon, which is really interesting because uh, this is an interesting timing for a whiteout to start. So, um, and then I pulled this um, an hour ago. Okay, so... This front edge of this graph was indicating at 4.45 p.m. So we can see that this is uh, concentrated in the upper chakras, but then we get to, but there's something really interesting about this one. It's a little different. It's a little different. And I'm going to, I made in one extra graph for you guys just to compare these two to show you what's different and really cool about um, this particular light event shall we say okay one second let me jump over to the chakra chart so that we can get this done okay so here you can see i put the arrow to indicate that's that 1045 so all of this in here represents that white out and you saw most of it was up upper chakra and then here where it starts to go up again that's that last slim piece on the where there's a full body spike, which you can see, right? We can see it, it goes through all the chakras here. Now, what's interesting with this is that white, uh, that white out, that top part, that's upper chakra, is very high energy, okay, high frequency. But this spike doesn't stay up. Instead, it's like this. So, you know, I had to call in the pros, said, hmm, this, my friends, is an activation. This is upper chakra activation. Way cool, way cool. Now, you don't feel anything, by the way. The physical body doesn't go, oh, that was just an activation. But, I mean, not while it's going on, you don't. Um, these are how gifts come forward um your intuition be can become sharper you all of a sudden are having great ideas in the shower yep thank this guy right here for that so this is another what is it it's yet another tactic wakey wakey <laughs> wakey wakey we're all waiting for you on the love train come on over <laughs> that's what's going on here now i made one more slide just to kind of show you guys the uh the two I lined them up top to bottom so we can take a peek at it. Okay, so here I have them top to bottom. Now I had to I made these yellow brackets because these are scaled differently. They're still they still go by the hour, but they're scaled differently. So this indicates that ten forty five to four forty five here, and then this bracket on the lower on the chakra chart is indicating that. So normally when we have this this would be look like a mountain range or a bunch of like m shapes and you can see this in other reports that we that I've done you can go and see and this is how we know this is an activation um because it's intense yet it's not spiking the chakra right as hard 
So I shouldn't use the word hard because none of this is really harming. This is all upgrades, right? Um, but so this is a hundred percent the, I'm going to say like, not just upper chakras because right, the throat is included in the upper chakra. And I know many of you have been saying to me, oh, my throat, like throat issues. I feel, you know, some people are saying they're feeling wheezing and stuff like that because, Part of the healing process and bringing this light in is helping to people to speak their truth. We've been people pleasing. We've been putting masks on. We've been doing all that stuff. And, you know, they did a, such a solid. They said, don't worry, we're going to put it in the washing machine for you for months and months and months. And we're going to shake it all up. And then you're going to come out and you're going to have this amazing intuition. You're going to have telepathy. You're going to be clairsentient. You're going to have all these fun tools to play with. So you don't have to suffer and struggle anymore. You know what? I don't know about you guys, but I think it's a great deal and I'm taking it. So what do we do with this? Ah, I know that's what you guys were thinking. <laughs> Are you still staring at this going, what? So what do we do with this? What do we do with light now? We create, we create. There's a fabulous meditation on the focus group recording. It happens at 13 minutes and 40 seconds. Grab that or grab your favorite meditation now. And really, really the easiest state of being to grab to help yourself expand is peace. At some point while this is going on, especially since it is third eye, crown, throat, see what you can do to give yourself, even if you do it for 10 minutes, get yourself into a state of peace. This energy is here to magnify it because what's happened is we've been purging, purging, right? We purge, then we have a short integration, then, then we purge again, and then a short integration, and then we purge again. And then they're like, okay, we'll let them rest for a little bit. But now we're going to just infiltrate high frequency light energy into the upper chakras. And it's going in. A, a deep way is how it's coming to me. Um, now the noodle can not understand this because we're multidimensional, right? The noodle's only playing in one realm. So the, just know that this is a very deep and powerful activation. So let's milk it. When you want to integrate and get things, make sure you're grounding, drink that water and do some kind of just quiet time for 10 minutes, set an intention to bring yourself into complete peace and quiet and enjoy this light. That's what I got for you guys today. Um, wow. Good stuff coming ahead. I'm looking forward to next week. I already got a new, I, they gave me a new meditation for Thursday that I totally didn't understand until now. <laughs> I did understand it, but I'm starting to see the connection, you know, uh, how it's going to come into play. So, you know, do your best for those of you who are still having symptoms, by the way, many, many, this is going to trigger. So anybody, you know, newly awakened, this is going to trigger. So whatever emotions you haven't healed yet, or whichever I call it, holding the beach ball under the underwater, are you holding a beach ball underwater? Like, do you need to write somebody a forgiveness letter? Are you feeling sad about a situation, but you're not voicing it? If you can't voice it to the person, voice it on a piece of paper, get that pen going, get that energy out of you. Um, because it's going to keep coming up. We can't, you, we don't go into the 5D with any crap in our backpack. It's clean. In fact, we don't even have backpack. We go in naked. So you can just say, okay, am I naked or what am I holding on to that I think I'm going to sneak over the fifth dimension line? But you're not, there's like one of those alerts that says, -uh. <laughs> you're going back, you're going back to the washing machine. Like that's how this works. So, but have compassion for yourself and have compassion for others. They're not coming at you and they're not triggering you to be mean or ruin your life. They are two are experiencing this and they may be experiencing it without an awareness about the ascension, which makes it brutal, right? Because now they're going through a world of emotion and they have 
no explanation for it, nothing to attach it to. So please be compassionate. We're all perfect, beautiful souls focused into a body. Love your bodies. Love your bodies. I can't say that enough because we are integrating with Gaia's energy. And if you're looking at yourself in the mirror and thinking awful thoughts, you know, you're causing your own agitation, to say the least. You're just rattling your own energy unnecessarily. So that's all I got. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you when the energy calls. <laughs> Have a great evening or morning, wherever you're at. Ciao.